In today's video, we'll be doing a full in-depth review of Word Hero AI. Now, Word Hero AI is an AI copywriter in which you can use to write short form copy such as product descriptions, website copy, Google ads, and many other types of short form copy. You can also use their newly released content editor to help you write long form copy such as blog posts, ebooks, articles, or any other type of long form content. These days, you can find many AI copywriters that are coming to the market that all promise you the same thing to help you save time and money and help you write high quality content a lot quicker. The main reason why I wanted to do a review of Word Hero AI is mainly because they have a really good deal going on on AppSumo. So right now you can get a lifetime plan for $69. And if you actually wanted to upgrade to the long form editor in which you'll be able to create a long form copy such as blog posts and any other long form content, you can pay a one time fee of $39 and you'll be able to get a lifetime unlimited access to the long form editor. So this is obviously a really good deal. And instead of paying monthly, you just pay one time and you'll have unlimited usage and you'll also have the long form editor included. This was a really good deal and I couldn't pass it up. So I had to go ahead and get the lifetime access. And I have to say that I was really impressed by the quality, by the features, and just by the overall feel and use of this AI copywriter. If the lifetime access unlimited deal is still available, I'll leave a link in my description below. So this is what your dashboard would look like once you have a Word Hero account. You'll be able to see all of the different templates that you can use. So as you can see, there's many different templates depending on the scenario or the copy that you're writing. You can do cold emails, you can do brand name ideas, book titles, you can do FAQs, Facebook ads, Google ads, so on and so forth. But the main benefit of using an AI copywriter is to write long form copy. And in order to write long form copy using Word Hero, you want to go ahead to the editor. Now, this is where you'll be able to create your blog post, your books, your novels, your articles, and any other sort of long form content. So let's go ahead and do a live example and try out the new Word Hero editor and see how it stacks up to some of the other long form content editors in the market right now. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll be writing a blog post about yoga and its benefits. So in order to get started, um, once we have our title in here, instead of going to the left hand side and choosing one of these templates in order to get an outline for a blog post, we can go ahead and choose the blog outline. So it's pretty cool that the blog outline is already embedded in the editor. So it just makes it a little bit easier to get some content. Okay, so this is our first sort of outline that we get. What, what is yoga? The benefits of yoga? How do I start? And then the conclusion. So let's go ahead and run back the blog template. And let's see if we can get some other subtopics that we can include in our blog post. Okay, so I like how it's sort of talked about the mind, body and the heart. So let's copy this here. Um, everything else we sort of already have. I'll leave the conclusion because I kind of like it better than just sum up the article. So this can be right here um, under the benefits of yoga. We can talk about the benefits on the mind, the body, and then the heart. And how do I start can be the last paragraph. Okay, so this is a pretty good start. We have a nice outline. Let's go ahead and start creating some content and we'll start with our intro paragraph. In order to generate content when using Word Hero, you wanna go ahead and we're gonna copy the content that we wanna generate. And the cool thing is, again, we don't have to use any of the templates on the left hand side. We can just literally go over it and then we can click blog intro. And once you click blog intro, you're going to get content based upon the introduction or the title in which you highlight it. Okay, so we get some pretty good content here in terms of what yoga is and in terms of an introduction. Now, if you want more content, you can leave your cursor um, at the end of the sentence and then you can hover over the pencil and you'll be able to write more. So this is the write more um, button. So if you want more content, again, just click that and then the AI will continue the sentence. Okay, awesome. So as we can see, we get some more content here. Uh, this is pretty good. I think that's more than enough for our intro paragraph. So let's go ahead and let's start getting some input for our first subtopic, which is what is yoga? So again, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and then I'm going to click blog intro. 
So I like to use the blog intro for all of my subtopics and headings. I find that we get some pretty good content when you do that method. And then you can go ahead and use the write more feature to then get more content if needed. So as we can see, we get some pretty good content here. Um, it talks about how yoga is a good form of exercise and meditation that can help you improve your overall health and well-being. So pretty good content here. Again, if I want more content, I'm gonna leave my cursor here and I'm gonna click the write more button. Okay, so nice, we got a couple new sentences there. Um, yoga is not about an ideal body type or body shape. In yoga, everyone can find something that works for them. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's see if we click it again. Let's see how much more content we can get. So since we started to get some websites and some irrelevant content, I can say that we've pretty much exhausted that output. So you can either go ahead and write some more content and then highlight it and then click the write more feature or if you're happy with the amount of content that you have, you can move on to the next subtopic. If you have any subtopics within your blog post and you wanna be able to get a list style output, then what you wanna do is copy um, that subtopic and then we're gonna use listicles. And in the listicles, we just need to describe what the topic is about. So the topic is gonna to be about the benefits of yoga and we would like to get um, some listicle style output from the AI. As we can see, we get a couple different subtopics that we can use within this section of our blog post. So once you get your list from the AI, you can go ahead and copy whichever, whichever subtitle you like the best, and then just go ahead and copy it and paste it over onto your editor. So let's go ahead and we're gonna run some output for the benefits of yoga. Okay, again, we get some really, really good content here. It sort of sets up um, this paragraph in which we're talking about the benefits of yoga. Again, if we want more content, we're going to leave our cursor here and then we're going to click write more. So as we can see, the AI started to talk about yoga poses. And while this is good content, um, it's not really the spot for it to be right now. So what we can do is um, we can copy that and then we can put that in a place on the document in which it makes more sense. So let's go ahead and let's try to get some content for each one of these different points, um, which talks about the benefits of yoga. If you wanna create content for one of the subtopics in a paragraph, then you could highlight it and click blog post, but I do find that sometimes you don't get as good content. And the reason is, is because the AI will still talk about the benefits of yoga because it may not recognize that this is sort of a new section within that paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this an H2 tag I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna head back over to the templates and I'm gonna go ahead and use the blog intro template this time. And I'm going to describe what I'm trying to write about. Because we're talking about how yoga can decrease stress, I'm going to describe that content here. So I've described the content in which we're writing about and I'm gonna click write for me and let the AI do its thing. So as we can see, the AI actually gave us some really, really good content here in terms of how yoga can help reduce stress. So at the end of the long day, it's inevitable that there will be some stress built up. In order to feel refreshed and more prepared for another day, one of the easiest ways to relieve stress is through yoga. So yoga has been shown to help people reduce their stress levels by providing a more centered mindset, which can often lead to a more calm response to a stressful situation. So this is really good content here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. And if you wanted to get more content for each one of these subtopics, then you just go ahead and do the same thing. Again, we're gonna copy this over. We're gonna go back and we're using the blog intro template. So we're going to then describe the content, which is how doing yoga can help improve your body's alignment. So here's the content that we get from the AI. Doing yoga can help improve body alignment by providing some ex exercises that can release tension in the back, neck, and legs. Research has shown that people who have practiced yoga for at least 12 months had lower levels of tension in their upper backs, necks, and shoulders. Wow, again, really, really good stuff here. I mean, you wanna be careful um, when you're citing sort of medical advice, but at the end of the day, we're getting some really good content from this uh, AI copywriter. So I'm very impressed by Word Hero and this new long form editor that they've released. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the exact same method for the remaining subtopics uh, in this paragraph.
Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've um, created content for all of the other subtopics that we had in the benefits of yoga paragraph. So let's move on to the next paragraph, which is how do I start doing yoga? So I'm going to go ahead and make this an H2. Then I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to click blog intro. So here we go. We got some content, but it seems as though it starts to talk about again what the benefits of yoga are. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back over to the blog intro and I'm going to describe what we're trying to talk about now, which is how do I start doing yoga? So once I've described the content, I'm going to click write for me and let's see what sort of content we get now. So by just changing around the method in which we're using to get content, we're able to get some more targeted and more relevant content. So all three of these are pretty good. I'm going to use the last output that we got uh, because it actually talks about how do I start doing yoga and what are the things that I need to start doing yoga. So I'm going to paste this here. So I'm going to click the write more feature and let's see if we can get some more content here. Okay, so this is pretty cool, pretty relevant as well. Talks about how you can get started. Now let's go ahead and um, click write more and let's just see if we can get some more content as well. So let's just continue and let's click write more again and see if we can get some more content. Okay, nice. So I do like that we actually get some um, things in which a person can do right now to help them get started with yoga. So again, I'm going to continue. I'm going to click write more. So this is some really good output that we got from the AI. It's actionable content that anyone can use right now to help them get started with yoga. So once you're happy, you just want to again clean this up, make sure everything um, is flowing well. We're going to move on to our conclusion. So I'm going to try two different methods to see which one gives us better output for our conclusion. The first is going to be, I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to click blog intro. Okay, so this is the conclusion that we got um, by using the blog intro method. So it talks about what scientists have found um, over years of research in terms of yoga and some of the benefits of yoga. And it ends the blog post in a really nice way. So let's go ahead now and we're going to use the blog conclusion template and see which method we're able to get some better content from. So I've described the content and now the AI is generating our conclusion. So the second conclusion talks about how yoga is a great way to improve your physical and your mental health. It also talks about how it improves your flexibility, can help with digestion, and it provides a time for reflection and self-awareness. So I'm happy with both of these conclusions. For both of these conclusions, I'm pretty happy with the output that we got. So it's just a matter of choice in terms of which one that you use. So I would say that this is a very high quality blog post in which I would have no problem sharing with our blog readers. So first impressions of Word Hero. I am very impressed with the AI, with the quality, with the features, and with the ease of use. And also it's very reasonably priced, especially if you go ahead and get the lifetime deal. This is a complete no brainer. You should go ahead and grab it right now if it is available. But if the lifetime deal isn't available uh, for $49 per month for unlimited copy and access to all of their writing tools, I still think that this is a good price for the quality of the AI that you get access to. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're able to go out and start creating more content leveraging AI copywriters. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until the next video, stay well.